Thomas Geary from Vinci Technologies and I'm the project manager in charge of the Steamflow. Steamflow system aims at mimicking what's happening in the field during steam injection. This system is a laboratory scale system that's fully automated. The end user can use the software that's been designed by the Vinci team in order to do whatever he wants on the system. So the steam flood has four pumps, two double pumps. Two pumps are at the top, two pumps are at the bottom. So one double pump is used to inject continuously inside of the system. So we have these pumps here. And two pumps are used in order to be able to confine the core holder and also apply back pressure on the system. The steam flood consists of a main oven. In this main oven, you can have temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius. If you couple that with the maximum pressure of 10,000 PSI, you have a broad range of possible experiments. In the oven, we have three accumulators where you can put different process fluids inside in order to be able to inject through the core holder. The core holder is right here. That's where you put rock samples such as this one inside. You can confine it and then inject process fluid through the core sample. This core holder has two pressure taps that gives you the pressure at different points of your sample. In order to mimic the steam injection, we also have a steam generator. This steam generator is right here and is used to inject water, heat it up, generate steam and inject it through the core holder. In the oven, we also have directional valves that allow the user from the software to choose which process fluid is going to be injected inside the system. In order to inject water to the steam generator, we use this HPLC pump here. It's providing constant flow rate to the steam generator and so generating vapor for the core holder. In the steam flood, we also have a high pressure gas line. Here we have two possibilities for constant pressure mode using two gas regulators and also the, the possibility of injecting a constant flow rate of gas using a mass flow controller. At the bottom over there, we have a humidifier that can be used in order to wet the gas before injecting it through the core holder. In this auxiliary oven, we have the back pressure regulator that sets the pressure for the entire system and also means of measuring what's coming out of your sample. Here, mounted inside the auxiliary oven, we have the gas liquid separator fraction collector. At the bottom, we also have the liquid-liquid fraction collector. So as you can see, at the back of the system, there are lots of connections. Yet, everything is very easy and very user-friendly so that maintenance can be done very easily. We also have here everything that's giving us information about the pressure on the system and everything is connected back to the computer on the right side of the system.